I am R. Prabha, Assistant Professor in the Department of ECE, SNS College of Technology. In this video, we will discuss the topic on the radiation pattern measurement. So, the antenna measurement need is to ensure the antenna meets the given specifications and to characterize the antenna. And there are various parameter measurements are available. One is uh, we can measure gain and we can measure band with radiation pattern, beam with impedance, etc. And now we will discuss the very important measurement of an antenna, uh, a very important parameter also, the radiation pattern measurement. So because for an antenna, the radiation pattern is very important because it shows uh, in which direction the antenna is radiating. So which is the uh, most requirement uh, uh, if we take any antenna. And uh, for radiation pattern measurement, uh, we always use the antenna in a, for uh, drawing the uh, radiation pattern, we always kept the antenna in a spherical coordinate system. So in a spherical coordinate system at the center of the antenna we kept and we have x and y z coordinates, we have uh, three parameters in a spherical coordinate called uh, radius r, radius of the sphere and theta is the elevation angle, phi is the azimuth angle. So this is the, uh, sorry, uh, this is the uh, uh, picture of uh, the graphical representation of the spherical coordinate system. And we know the radiation pattern is uh, the graph which shows the radiation of an antenna either radiated or received in a particular direction with respect to the direction. So from the radiation pattern we can understand that in which direction the antenna radiates more and in which direction the antenna radiates less. And the radiation pattern means the field strength at fixed distance from the antenna as a function of the direction. And use spherical coordinate xy horizontal plane and xz vertical plane. And considering the antenna type is horizontal antenna and vertical antenna. For a horizontal antenna, the plane pattern is called E plane pattern. And uh, uh, the, in E plane pattern, uh, we have taken the plane as XY plane and theta is equal to 90 degree, phi will vary. And in H plane pattern, we take XZ plane and theta will vary here and uh, phi is equal to 0. And for vertical antenna, it's measured in XZ plane. Here theta is vary and uh, phi is equal to 0 and in xy plane theta equal to 90 degree and phi is vary. And horizontal antennas used for the earth to earth communication, vertical antennas are used for the earth and also the space. And uh, this diagram shows the measurement setup of antenna radiation pattern measurement. At the center side, uh, left side we have a transmitter or oscillator with RF cable and at the end of the RF cable we have a, an antenna, transmitting antenna which is called as a primary antenna. And in the right, uh, right hand side we have an indicator and also a receiver, antenna drive units and uh, there is a supporting shaft. On the supporting shaft the secondary antenna that is the antenna under test is kept. So, the primary antenna is constantly transmitting, the secondary antenna is rotated so that we have antenna drive units rotated by 360 degree and at uh, each and every particular angles, uh, step angles we are measuring the radiation and after getting all the radiations uh, measured from 0 degree to 360 degree by the use of receiving antenna. If we draw the graph on a polar plot, we get the radiation pattern of the antenna. So this is the method of uh, calculating the radiation pattern of a given antenna. So here uh, the antenna under test can be at the secondary, uh, can be at the right hand side as a secondary antenna or we can also use uh, the antenna under test at the right left side as a primary antenna and the secondary antenna uh, may vary. So according to the reciprocity theorem of antenna, if any antenna is kept at the uh, transmitting side and also at the receiving side, its property must be same and uh, excluding the losses. And in the measurement of uh, radiation pattern, 
we have a minimum distance requirement so in between the transmitting and receiving antenna there should be a distance r it must be equal to 2 d squared by lambda here um, d is uh, the distance of the receiving antenna aperture and uh, the lambda is the wavelength at the frequency of operation so this lambda is calculated from the formula c by m where c is the velocity of light in free space f is the antenna frequency or the resonant frequency where the antenna is operating and also the uniform requirement is also available so primary antenna to secondary antenna we have the same um, uh, same space we and uh, with the distance r is equal to 2d squared by lambda the height is same we have to make the height is same and the, there are two type of rays are available one is the direct rays which is directly from the transmitting antenna to receiving antenna and another one is indirect rays so the indirect rays are obtained from the transmitting antenna and reaches the ground uh, from the ground it is reflected back and, to, and reaches to the receiving antenna so these are the two type of rays and the secondary antenna that is the antenna under test the total antenna radiation is calculated by the adding of direct rays and uh, the secondary rays here the distance must be made equal to r and r should be greater than 2d squared by lambda there should not be no interference in between the paths that is line of sight and uh, they mount the antenna on a tall building so this is nothing but uniform requirement of the radiation pattern measurement so assessment question so this is the diagram uh, we have to explain the concept in details so there is a primary antenna and a secondary antenna for radiation pattern measurement and there are two rays direct rays and indirect rays the total radiation is the addition of these two rays and measuring the radiation at the receiving side that is the antenna under test we take uh, if we plot the polar graph we get the total radiation pattern and here the antenna under test may be used as a transmitting antenna and also the receiving antenna so in both ways we can take measurements so this is about a very important measurement of antenna parameter radiation pattern measurement thank you